Praise the Lord, my dear friends. We are on the second Sunday in Lent, and today in the responsorial psalm taken from Psalm 33, we read, "The word of the Lord is faithful," and we see the same theme running through the other three readings as well. In Matthew chapter 17, today's gospel, we see the transfiguration of our Lord, and chapter 17, verse one, we read, "After six days." Jesus took Peter, James and John his brother and led them up to a high mountain. It's mentioned after 6 days. So what happened before 6 days? We see that in chapter 16, the last verse, verse 28, where we see Jesus making a promise to the disciples saying that some of them would not taste death before they see the son of man coming in his kingdom. So it was 6 days after Jesus made this promise that he took Peter, James and John up to a high mountain and gave them the vision of the transfiguration. 6 days in scripture would mean before a very long time period. Because 7 is the perfect number or the complete number. So before 7 days Six, five, four, etc. would mean a very short period of time. So what we see here is that Jesus made a promise and fulfilled his promise before very long period of time. We see something very similar in the first reading as well. In the first reading taken from Genesis chapter twelve, verse one onwards, we see the Lord asking Abraham to move away from his country. is kindred and his father's house and to go to a land that he would show him and when we go through the reading something interesting we notice the lord demanded three things from abraham at the same time we see the lord promising seven blessings in return when we see that we may have to make certain sacrifices in life because of our commitment to faith the blessings that will come in return are much much more than what we actually sacrifice three things the lord demanded and seven blessings in return for abraham and abraham left the place as the lord told him and in that very same chapter that is chapter 12 verse 7 we see the lord appearing to abraham and pointing out to him the land of canaan saying that that would be the land which is to belong to Abraham and his children we see after the three demands that the lord made the first promise that the lord made was that he would give a land because he said go to a land that i will show you so the first promise was that he would give a land and in that very same chapter we see the lord fulfilling his promise but was abraham able to take possession of that land Unfortunately no we see in verse 10 that there was a famine in that land and Abraham had to move to Egypt and live there as an alien why we will know the reason when we once again look at the first verse where the lord demanded three things the lord said go from your country Abraham was very faithful to that he left his country and the third one was to move away from his father's house that too abraham was faithful but the problem came in the second demand where the lord said to move away from all your kindred in verse 4 when we read that abraham went as the lord told him it's also mentioned that lot went with him who was lot lot was abraham's nephew a relative a kindred so when the lord said go from your kindred lot was also one of them so there abraham made a small mistake and so abraham was not able to take possession of the land that the lord pointed out it becomes even more clear when we see in chapter 13 after abraham and lot separated which we have in chapter 13 verse 11 the very next verse chapter 13 verse 12 we see abraham settling in the land of canaan so what do we see 
is that the lord promises a lot of blessings to his people however those blessings will become part of our life only if we take care to be obedient to the lord exactly as he expects us to be once we make sure that we are obedient to every single commandment that the lord has promised us and happily accept all the sacrifices that might come on the way when we try to be obedient the blessings that will come into our life will be far greater than the sacrifices that we may need to make and in the second reading in the second letter to timothy we see saint paul saying that we are called into a holy way of living and what is this holy way of living this holy way of living is actually exact fulfillment of the word of god so as we are still in the beginning part of lent and season let us look into ourselves and see what is our attitude towards the little sacrifices that we may need to make during this lent and season what is our attitude when we have to face some pains and difficulties because we make a commitment to follow the lord May God bless each one of us.